Bye. Okay, hello, hello. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Hi, hi, Jasmine. How is it going? Um, good. Just is it still raining very much. Yeah, right. <laughs> Same as yesterday. Okay. Just give me a second. Okay, there we go. So let's give your classmates a couple of minutes so they can join this class today. Sorry. Class number 20, 22. This is class number 22. Let me ask guys, do you do you go to the platform? Did you finish with section number three? In your case, um, Jasmine? Yeah, it's already done. It's already done, okay. Wait, section four. Yeah, right, you already have section four and also the final exam. No, right? You're still missing that one, the final exam. Yeah, the exam is the one I'm missing. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Let me see. Diego. Okay. There we go. Okay, so uh, let's let's have this quick review about yesterday's class. Uh, the topic that we were covering for the ones who were not here. Um, yeah, we were um, having this conversation topic, you know, based on the CSR program. And we were discussing about these questions. Let me show you. Benefits that companies or that organizations have if they implement the CSR program, remember CSR stands for the Corporate Social Responsibility Model. And we were discussing about these three questions. Let me show you the questions. Okay. These were the questions that we were discussing yesterday as the main task. Why is CSR important in the 21st century? What age group cares more about the CSR and why? And can CSR be ignored? Those were the questions that we were discussing, right? But before we move on, let me say hi to you. Hi, class. I already have 10 students in the class. How is it going? How was your day? Tell me. 
Let me know about your day. Let's start by asking you about this question. What did you do? What did you have for lunch? What did you have for breakfast? Tell me your details. What did you do, class? I missed the breakfast, but I had soup for lunch. Okay. Wow. It sounds delicious. How about the rest? The rest of you. Okay, I'm just getting ready. Let me see, 13 students already in the class. So I guess I'm ready to check the attendance list before I forget. Today is the 10th of August. Do not forget that this coming Monday, we're going to have the last class, the last session. So it is, it is quite important for you to stay in the class because we are going to have like those 120 minutes per class. And do not forget that you need to reach um, the 80% in attendance. Los porcentajes aquí se van acumulando, chicos. Ya algunos ya, ya tienen eh, el 70% o más del 80%, right? But there are some of eh, you that you're still missing. Les hace falta, chicos, llegar a algunos al 70 incluso. Así que quedémonos en la clase completa, por favor. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Is he in the class already? Yeah, he's there. Hi, Andrés. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Listen, teacher. Okay. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. He's there, I guess. Let me check. Diego, yeah, he's still there. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Okay, hi, Dari. Hi. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Okay, hi, Erwin. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present, teacher. I will, I will turn off the camera in a few minutes. Okay, that's all right. Thank you so much. Francisco Madeo Villacorte Chávez. Freddy Vladimir Cortez López. I'm here. Okay. Hi, Freddy. Hello. Genesis de Carmen Hernández Brizuela. Present. Hi, Genesis. Hi, Grimmie. Hi. Hi, let me see. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Okay, hello. Jasmine Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Hi. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Fried. Kenia. No, she's not here. Lourdes Montserrat Hernandez Velasquez. Present. Okay, hi Lourdes. Hi. Madeline Yamilet Morina Gonzalez. Present teacher. Okay, hi Madeline. Hi teacher. Telma Cleotilde Peña Martinez. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Okay. Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz. I'm here. Good evening, teacher. I'm another meeting. Sorry. Okay, I, I understand. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Okay. So let me present the topic that we are going to have in today's class. But first, let me ask you, are you good at writing or not? Not really. 
Are you good at writing? Writing what exactly? For example, in one of these classes, I asked you to write a paragraph, you know, a composition. Ah. Any type of writing. Not my strong suit, but well, we shall persevere. Okay. How about the rest? The rest of you. And good teacher. Right? Okay. Do you even have a book, right? Yes. Yeah, right. So yeah, you're good at writing. Look at the topic that we're going to have in today's class. Benefits of a CSR program. Objectives and benefits. But wait. We are going to cover the objectives and benefits, but we are also going to introduce another topic. I guess I'm ready, okay. Let me present the topic again. This is class number 22. This is advanced to course, and this is the topic that we are going to have in today's class. The benefits and objectives of the CSR program. Why am I asking you about the, if you're good at writing, a composition, paragraph, or any type of uh, assignment, you know, when it comes to this skill? Because as, I don't know if you already checked the content that we have in unit number three. And yeah, of course, we need to talk or we need at least to introduce this topic about the part of a paragraph. Let me ask you, what is a paragraph? What comes to your mind whenever um, I say paragraph? What is that? Un párrafo. Mm -hmm. Is that similar to a sentence? No, es una oración. Uh -huh. Sentence es una, es una oración y paragraph es un párrafo. Okay, so what is a paragraph made of? ¿De qué está compuesto un paragraph? Uh -huh. A series of sentences. That's that right. Exactly. About certain idea with one another. Exactly. We have um like a group of sentences of course they need to have like the same idea as jasmine she was mentioning so to introduce this topic we're going to watch a short video so you can have like this um information you know in a different way let's watch this video and let's get the information that we are going to present in the show
Okay. So let's review this information. Let's go back. Here we have it. And take a look at the information. What is the topic that we have here? Writing a paragraph. Or it means the parts of a paragraph, right? So could you identify the parts of a paragraph? What do we need in order to have a paragraph? ¿Qué necesitamos? What are the elements that we need to have? The main idea. Uh -huh, the main idea. What else? Uh, the topic sentence. A topic sentence. Mm -hmm. What else? Five or seven sentences. Five or seven sentences. Okay, so let's review the information that we have here. Take a look at the first idea. Here you have a um, short definition about a paragraph. So let's talk about paragraph. By definition, a paragraph is a section of writing. So if I ask you class, what is a paragraph? What are you going to express? What is that? Yes, a section of writing. <laughs> That's it. It's a section of writing, right? So there are, however, good sections of writing and poorly constructed sections of writing, as you may see. So what is the goal? The goal here is to make sure that you write good paragraph because that is the idea, right? Nobody wants to have like a bad composition or a bad paragraph, right? The goal is for you to write good paragraph. Probably we are not going to write a paragraph today, but we just need to identify the elements that we need to have in a paragraph. So let's review this information, the information that follows. And let me have some of you helping me out with the elements of a paragraph. What do we need to have in order to have a good paragraph? Let me have some volunteers. Five steps or five elements that we need to have. ¿Cuáles son esos? Let me have some volunteers because we're going to be reading all the information that we have here. Let me see. Let me... Okay, yeah. I was about to pick some of you. Okay, David, go ahead. The first one is when main, main idea. Mm -hmm. The second one is a topic sentence. The number three is five or seven sentence. And number four, a closing sentence. And the number five is the indent, spelling, and punctuation. Okay. One main idea, of course. Then we have the topic sentence from five to seven sentences that this is like uh, the paragraph itself, right? After that, we need to have the closing sentence. Indent, do you know the meaning of this? Indent, what is that? ¿Saben qué es eso? Yes. Indent. In, in Spanish, it's a sangria, it's el espacio. La sangria, huh? That we left, that we left in the, in the beginning of the paragraph. There we go, great definition. Indent, let that, me show that, you. That, that do the first sentence, the different or the, the other sentence of the paragraph. Mm -hmm. Let me show you what it looks like. Indent, aquí está, Let me show you a picture so you can have like this idea. Indent, se refiere a eso, like the space that we have. Yes. Mm -hmm. Eso, sangría le llamamos en español. Sangría, Indent. Yes. El espacio oh, que the... dejamos. Mm -hmm. Se acepta identación ya, pero el, el original es sangría. Uh -huh. Quizás en, aquí en Word lo conocemos como sangría. Se nombra así, ¿verdad? Pero oh, sí. the, the name, the name that is sangría, you learn in that, in that way when you start. Yes. In the past, eh, in the past, you... Identación, eh, sí, había escuchado. Yeah. Yes. The people was teaching in a, a typing. Exactly. And, uh -huh. uh, yes. In the past, uh, many, many years ago, now nobody knows what it is <laughs> typing <laughs> in, a, in a mechanical machine. Yeah, right. In my case, uh, I had a chance to learn, you know. Uh, you, are, you are so young teacher. I, I don't believe in 
you? No, yeah, you know, the lugar donde estudiaba. I don't know what they were still teaching. But, that. but what was the name of, of the of the college? Eh, bachillerato fue en el Central de Señoritas. Ah, okay. That's why I had okay. a chance to. Mm -hmm. You stood in near of, of the of the college that I teach. Really? Ne near of the of the Parque Cuscatlán or, or yeah, in, the, in the yes, because there are are other in the near of, of the university, national uh, university. Uh, no, not really. The one that is near uh, El Hospital Rosales. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, okay. So yeah, that's what I had a chance to to learn. You see a previous concept so one main idea, the top sentence from five or seven sentences, the closing sentence and indent. Si no sabíamos, ahí está una nueva palabra. We have this new definition for you to increase your vocabulary. Spelling, of course, and punctuation is so important. Let's move on. What else do we need to have? Let's see. Okay, five steps, five elements. So, what is the main idea about? ¿De qué se trata eso? Miren. Okay, let's stop here. Kenya, are you there, Kenya? Can you help us reading this information? One main idea. What is that about? Uh, why should a paragraph be about one main idea? Okay. How many different ideas are in a paragraph? One main idea. So what are so what should be a paragraph be about? One main idea. <laughs> okay, so what is the answer? The reply for all of those questions. What should a paragraph be about? One main idea. How many different yeah. ideas are in a paragraph? Just one main idea. So what should a paragraph be about? one main idea. Do not forget about that. We cannot be mixing information, different information, okay? Um, in my paragraph, I'm talking or describing my favorite pet. Oh, dog. I'm describing and talking about my dog, but then I decided to include my cat's information as well, my thorough information as well. No, we cannot be mixing, no? Different examples. Un párrafo es siempre de una main idea, and that's it. Let's take a look at the second element. Okay, so do not forget about this one. One main idea. Okay, topic sentence. Let me have Fernando. Okay, read about this information, please. Topic sentence. Okay. Uh, only the topic sentence. The, yeah, mm -hmm. the information that we have in this slide. Okay. Uh, at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yes, read the questions and the, okay. the, the answer. Topic sentence. What should a paragraph be, be about? One main idea. And what tell us about the one main idea? The topic sentence. There we go. So what is the topic sentence, class? Let me switch the question. What is a topic sentence? Okay, it's not a topic sentence. Or can you give me some examples of topic sentences? Uh, for us, it, it, in this class, is the paragraph. <laughs> okay. So as you may see, ¿por qué no le llamamos el topic nada más? The topic, no. And why are we calling this topic sentence? sentence. ¿Por qué le llamamos oración entonces? Why? Miren, no solo le llamamos the topic. The topic sentence. Why? ¿Por qué clase? ¿Por qué le llamamos a topic sentence? Es la introducción a la idea principal. Mm -hmm. But why is called topic sentence? ¿Por qué se llama sentence y no solo topic? 
uh, since the paragraph is made of different sentences, you have to start, you need one paragraph. Okay, let me show you some topic sentence examples. Thank Take a look at this one. Because whenever we say topic sentence, remember we are going to have a complete sentence. As simple as that, right? It's not like a topic. No es como un tema nada más. Es una oración that is going to indicate what the paragraph or what uh, the idea of the writing piece is about. Meaning it's a topic sentence. Cats are very good pets for several reasons. ¿Cuál es mi tema? Mi topic, topic. Cats. Because I'm going to be discussing about cats. But what is the topic sentence? Cats are very good pets for several reasons. Okay? No olvidemos eso. Topic sentence. Me da la idea de qué se va a tratar mi párrafo. It's not uh, the same as topic. Topic sentences is like the general idea or the main idea that we are going to be introducing or discussing in the paragraph. Okay, let's move on. Let's continue. What else do we have here? Okay, number three. Here we go. Okay, here we have some extra information or probably uh, the definition about the topic sentence. So what is a topic sentence? It's the first sentence of your paragraph. It introduces the reader to your one main idea. Okay, five to seven sentences. Let me have Francisco. Is Francisco there? Yes, it should. Okay, go ahead, please. Help me out reading. Okay, what should a paragraph be about? One media idea. What mm -hmm. tell us about the one media idea? Mm -hmm. The topic sentence. What what is spent? What is spent or spent? Spent, expand. Mm -hmm. What is spent on the topic sentence? Five, seven sentences. Five to seven sentences. Muy bien. So coming back to the main idea, what is the paragraph about? The one main idea. What tell us about the one main idea? The topic sentence. It's like the introduction, right? So if we want to have some extra details or we want to expand the idea, what are we going to do? To write from five, to seven sentences that are supporting the main idea or the topic sentence. Let's move on. Next step, next element. Okay, let me have Telma. Help me out reading Telma. Okay. After you have written a topic sentence, Introducing your one main idea. You have more sentences explaining or giving details about your one main idea. Very good. Okay. Let's move on. Thank you, Telma. Closing sentence. Erwin, is Erwin there? Can you help us read this information? Yes, teacher. Go ahead, please. What should a uh, photograph be about? Mm -hmm. And my idea, what is about the one main idea, the topic sentence? Okay. What's spent on the topic sentence? What is a paragraph? A closing sentence. There we go. Thank yes, you. a closing sentence. A yes. closing sentence. Creo que no se alcanza a ver, o sí. Can you see the information that we have there? I guess, right? No, no. se ve. Yeah, right. You cannot 
How about now? You couldn't, right? Okay, so what is the closing sentence then? ¿Qué es eso? ¿De qué se trata eso? William, hi William. Can you help me out reading this information? What is the closing sentence about? Any, yeah, he's there. I have to read. Yeah, just read the information. Okay, the closing sentence can serve the purpose. Purposes. Uh, number one, a summary of what you, you have written. Number two, your thoughts or opinions on the topic. And number three, uh, transition into your next pro paragraph. There we go. So class, is the closing sentence similar to the topic sentence? Or, or not? Are there differences between the closing and the topic sentence? Yes. What are the differences? Well, the topic sentence introduces the main idea, mm -hmm. starts the paragraph, and the closing sentence is like a, the conclusion or like a summary of what the main idea is. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's all, that's all right. Okay, the last part, last part of a paragraph of what we need to consider. Let me see. Okay, let me see. Andres, Andres Giovanni, can you help me out reading this information? This is like a review. Go ahead, please. What should a paragraph be about? One main idea. What tells us about the one main idea? The topic sentence. What expands on the topic sentence? Five, seven sentences. Mm -hmm. What ends a paragraph? A closing sentence. A closing sentence. There we go. Okay, now let me ask you about the same information that we were presenting. Let me see. What are the parts of a paragraph or how many parts do we need to consider whenever we are going to write a paragraph? First question. How Three many elements? Uh-huh. Three. Three? Three. 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 Only three? Mm. Well, I mean, uh, the topic sentence, the complementary sentences and the... So it's the, the final sentence. Uh -huh. So the one, one main idea, the topic sentence, the seven complementary sentences, mm -hmm. closing sentences, and the other, I think it's five or six. And or what other. else do we need to consider? Yeah, right. How many steps? Yes, exactly. There we go. So let's see. Take a look at this information that we have here. What are the parts of a paragraph? Let me ask the class. Parts of a paragraph, here we go. To put in details, closing sentence, main idea, sentence and paragraph. So what is this about? Read the definition and tell me. What is this? ¿Qué será esto? Let me see, Janari. Janari, let me ask you. Oh, Janari, she's in the Yeah, I, I forgot about that. Thanks. This is the paragraph. A group of sentences that focus a single idea. Supporting the ties, closing sentence, my idea, sentences, paragraph. Okay, that is what is the correct answer? Paragraph. Para <laughs> uh -huh. Is main idea. Oh, main idea or paragraph? My idea is a uh, no, it's a, it's a paragraph. <laughs> Take a no. look at this. A group of sentences. Es un grupo de oraciones, right? Paragraph. Of paragraph, okay. There we go. Okay, yeah, I understand. No, don't you worry. Ready. Read the information and try to find out the correct answer. Please. Oh, 
a world group of what a world a world groups or group of war with a complete thought. The main idea. Class, do you have a different opinion or are you in agreement? Sentence. 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 Main idea, sentence. Which one? Sentence. 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 Yes. Is that your final answer? Yes. One hundred dollars. Muy bien, muy bien. Harbin, this is for you. Talk about the main idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, sentence and that, that talk about the main idea. Sentences. It's in plural, acuérdense. It's not one. The, the supporting details. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay, Harvey, yeah? her supporting details. <laughs> Quiero que estén seguros, chicos. No, no, I don't know, teacher. Yeah. These are yes, sentences from five details. to seven sentences that talk about yes. the main idea. I guess now. So we are just missing the closing sentence and the main idea. Veamos, pidámosle a a Kenya que participe y luego lo urdes. Go ahead, please. Kenya, you read first and then lo urdes. This is the other term for topic sentence. Uh -huh. I think it is main idea. Main idea. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, right? Yeah. Yes. Let's see. Yeah, of course. So, Lourdes, can you read the last information, the last definition that we have there? Okay. It refers on some of the topic. It's the closing sentence. The closing <laughs> sentence. Yeah. There. This is a, a kind of of pass uh, by some verb, some sub. Uh huh. The, the last the in the last part. Of it. Thumbs up, yeah. Sentence or question. Thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. Something like the, the summarize. Place a verb. Mm -hmm. yes. Thumbs up. Summarize. But some up is a, from a contraction or. Mm -hmm. It's like okay. another way of expressing this. Thumbs up. Summarize. Teacher, so, can you share the the the, the link. information or the paragraph? Please? Sure. Yes. Sure. Ahorita lo hago. Solo tengamos esta actividad. Let's have this last activity. So based on that information, take a look at uh, this example that I have here. Look, I have a topic. What is the topic about? What are pollution. we discussing? Pollution. Oh, there we go. There we go. Pollution where? What country? En El Salvador. Salvador, there we go. So, what are we expressing about pollution? What is? Mm -hmm. That El Salvador is one of the most deforested countries. Wow, imagine. America. What else? Can you tell me about pollution? Just read the information like there. We are scanning information. Ah, okay, excellent. Interesting. So, let me ask you, what is the topic sentence or the thesis statement or the general topic? Empecemos for the general topic. Pollution. Vamos a ver. Um, what is next? ¿Qué le sigue después del general topic? Miren, the general topic is just a single word. Pollution. This is not... Air quality. Topic. Air quality in San Salvador has dropped considerably. Uh, wouldn't it be like the narrow specific topic like the air pollution in San Salvador? Wouldn't that be... Yeah, air pollution in San Salvador. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's look for the thesis statement first. 
¿Cuál será el tiempo? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Solution in San Salvador. This is statement. Aquí vamos. Thesis statement. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. This is a statement. I don't think that's the air pollution thing. Uh, I think it would be the thesis statement. I think is air quality in San Salvador has dropped considerably due to three factors. That would okay. be. Okay, let's do something, you know? Se uh -huh. Vamos a hacerlo. Five minutes. So, doy cinco minutos en grupo. Me traen las respuestas. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I already know the answers, right? Vamos a ver. Five minutes. Let me send the link. Se lo voy a enviar. Because I have so many examples like this one. So, you can practice, you know? And here we go. Okay, five minutes, just five minutes, and then we come back. Here we go. Talk to your classmates and bring those correct answers to the class. David, está en cuál sala? Two and six. Three and six. Two and six. Two, okay. Two and six. So go to room and number two. One. You give us permission to share the screen. Please. Ah, yeah, sure, yeah. I always forget about that. So go ahead, please. Five minutes. Go talk to your classmates and bring those correct answers. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe I will put this one here. Oh no, maybe here. What do you think? I don't remember. I, don't remember. Uh, I think this is the, the first one. Yeah. More than 100 vehicles in, of the street 
And the number two is the most deforested oh. countries of, in the Americas. In the last and the, the number most three, I don't, I yeah. don't, I don't. That one, the number three most industrial companies do not have protocol for gas emission. Most industrial. Yes, yes because yeah. this is a. Uh, uh, uh huh. Yes, uh, the most important thing is that uh, more than 100 vehicles of the street on Salvador every day. Yeah, every day, uh huh. And the. I think it's that it's okay. Quantity, uh huh. Hi guys, do not forget that this is a group board. So try to share your screen. Alguien que comparte la pantalla, chicos, so you can work in pairs. Okay, Andres, can you do it, please? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, okay, let me. I have a bag with the with the play, okay. Can you see the screen? In my case, I do. Okay. But you will send the link, teacher? Okay, let me resend this link. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I guess you cannot, verdad que no pueden ver el chat cuando están en grupos. Let me ask you, I'm not sure about that. Eh, yo creo que sí, pero solo okay. que escriba ahorita. Vamos ah, a ver, let me ahorita see. Ahorita lo vi. I tried to open, but I can't play. Really? Okay. Yes, yeah. okay. Uh, There you go. Okay. Uh-huh, that's the one. Excellent. Any of that links or? No, it's the same, the same information. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. That is the exercise, excellent. Okay, thanks teacher. Andres. Okay. Uh, but I try to do it. I can put the the, the information in, 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 in the sentences. Yes. Can you do it? Let me try. A pollution. The yeah. topic is a pollution. Pollution. Oh, pollution, yes. Yeah, you're right. Oh, but now she's here. You can try it again. It? <laughs> okay. okay. Go ahead and try it again. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we got all seven, correct? No, but that's nice. That's all right. <laughs> you know the rest of the groups. If you don't want to, you know, come on, try it again. <laughs> it's, it's, it's better with uh, real time. That's not the idea. The idea is for you to get the correct answers. So don't worry. <laughs> Keep on trying. Okay. I know you can do it, guys. <laughs> Go ahead, yeah. And we did it in less than five minutes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Minutes. Yeah, whenever I say five minutes, I know it's going to take you know longer <laughs> but don't worry we still have time like an extra hour so take it <laughs> yeah you're right <laughs> no, vamos, chicos. 
I know you okay. can do it. <laughs> but we finished already. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do, do we do it again even? Sure, okay. why not? <laughs> okay, sure. Um, it's, uh, it's solution yep. so for detail number two. Supporting detail three is the last one, I think. Solution. This one, the last one, right? Yep. <laughs> Don't you worry, we still have time. Go ahead and try it again. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. I know you can do it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is statement. It will be air quality. Yep. So Did you guys finish? Yes, I did for sure. You did? Can I see the results? I what? didn't take picture. You didn't? Really? No. Yes, <laughs> I don't know why they get me out. Really? Okay. Yes, I did my cell phone back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Vamos a ver. Francisca, aquí enviaron ya siete de siete. <laughs> Don't worry. Two twice. Really? Pero yes. tuvieron ten, ten out of ten o cuántos tuvieron? Siete de siete. In, in the first I, one we got it four. Okay, so you tried and it again. Four. Yes, in the last one of of four, seven of seven. Okay, seven out of seven. There we go. So. Mm. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. okay. Okay, time to compare. Okay, here we go. Okay, I guess you're ready to help me out, right? Veamos cómo nos va a estar. I know, uh, probably it was a little bit confusing um, whenever it comes to giving the correct order for the supporting details, right? Tal vez ahí nos confundimos un poquito, but let me see, what is the general topic? General topic. Pollution. Pollution, that is the general topic. So after the general topic, we need to have like, this is a statement that is similar to the topic sentence. What's the next topic or this is a statement? No, 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 no. This is a statement is the, the one that is below the pollution. Air quality. Because it's, because it's, yes, that one. Because it's a thesis. 
Mm -hmm. He said, this is, this is the, the thing that we need, that is trying to prove with the paragraph. There we go. The okay. So yes. which is the, 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 the next one, the following one? The narrow is the, the next one. Mm -hmm. narrow. narrow topic. Is so where is the, it? The where is the below. narrow? No, the next below. The next below the text is a statement, yes. So that can one. you read the thesis statement? No, I'm sorry, the, the narrow topic. Yes, this is the narrow Air topic. pollution in San Salvador. Okay, and after that, we are just missing the supporting detail one, two, and three. What's the primero? Which is the first one? In your opinion? More than 1,000 vehicles. This is the supporting detail one. More than one, uh huh. The vehicles. Yes, in the this space. is. Vamos a ver. Okay. Yes. This is the first one. Yes. The second one? The, the second one is the first, the first sentence. Okay, can you read it? Day two. Yes, the, this is the first one. The first one. First. Yes. This one. Yes. So we are just missing the conclusion and supporting detail number three. Supporting details is the last one. Like this? Yes. Yeah. Yes, okay. Yes, because it's follow the order of the of the thesis. Okay, and the uh, vehicle industry and deforestation. And the conclusion is essential to us now. There we go. Let's stop this environmental problem. So yeah. let me check. Vamos a ver cómo nos queda. There we go. So seven out of seven. Muy bien, clase. If you go to your student's book, there you're going to find some extra information and a very short example, you know? Let's go to the book, the student's book. We are going to have that exercise right now. And you did a great job, okay? Great job, guys. Take a look at this information. If you go to your book, on page number 20, yeah, 25, this is going to be like the last topic that we are going to be covering in unit number three, right? I know we are going to keep, um, I'm um, discussing about the CSR model, but yeah, as a part of unit number four. Si se fijan, tenemos la misma información, how to organize a paragraph, right? Same information, probably we have like different definitions, but here, exercise number nine, we have this exercise. Do you find this information or have you ever, or seen this exercise somewhere else? ¿A dónde han visto este ejercicio? Where is it? Veamos si han visto este ejercicio en algún lugar más. Or not really. Is this the first time that you see this exercise? Is it organized the program below using the mm -hmm. model of it? No? Okay, well, let me tell you later about this. So uh, let me have the same groups or different groups. No, the same groups. Why not, right? Go ahead and review this information. This information that we have here, these are like definitions. If you want to have like a clear definition, about the part of the paragraph that is very similar to what we were discussing you know in the previous exercises go ahead read the information and after that you're going to complete read and organize the paragraph that we have here so if you see we have this example here but if you go to the platform, let me go and show you. Go to the platform. There you are going to find the same exercise. So after completing that exercise on your student's book, please go to the, uh, the platform. 
¿Quién sabe qué ejercicio era? I know it's in section number three, but let me look for it. Something like three seven or three, three five. Like one of the like last that. ones, right? Yes. Veamos, where is it? Aquí está. Here we go. Meaning, same information. So, after completing that information, you can go and have the same exercise here. Um, lo único que cambia, yes, I guess it was Genesis. She was mentioning about this one. As you may see, tenemos cuatro opciones, but the instructions, they say. You need to select we, only the one, one to three. And, and one the of missing them one, are, exactly. Uh -huh. One so, is a repeated number. There we go. Así, eso lo quiero explicar. Okay. So, go ahead, complete this exercise. Primero in your student's book, y luego se van a la platform. Because today we're, we need to have section number three exercises covered. Voy a estar chequeando ahorita mientras trabajan esto while you go and work with your classmates, section number three. Okay, so let's do this right now. Go to your student's book. Read the information that we have the there. Page, teacher. page number five. Vamos. Please, siempre que haya alguien eh, compartiendo la pantalla, por favor. So this is a very easy way to read the information to have uh, your classmates reading as well and completing um, the exercise in a very easy way and in a faster way, okay? So go please. Trabajemos en esto ahorita. Let me give you, how much time do you need? From 10 to 15 minutes, is that enough? I guess, right? I think 10 to Yeah, I guess. So, Let's go. Same group. Trabajemos, chicos. I'm going to be checking section number three right now. Selma, in your case, who are you working with? Excuse me, Francisco. Francisco, Francisco, you were working with Francisco and and David and Doris. No, 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 no. no. Uh, it's with uh, Osme, Osme Morales, Osme. and Jasmine. Fernando, Fernando. Fernando, but I'm by Fernando in uh, Genesis. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Okay, you can go to room number four. That's what I A paragraph is a, is a group of sentences that develops a main idea. A paragraph can stand by itself as a complete piece of writing, or it can be a section of a longer piece of writing like an essay. The well developed paragraph has a topic sentence. The topic sentence express the main idea of the paragraph. Keep in mind that titles are very single words or short phrases, but the topic sentence of a paragraph must always be a complete sentence. Okay, example. Lego is at the top corporate social responsible companies of this year with 74.4 points, having jumped from its fifth place last year. While the topic sentence 
presents the main idea of a paragraph, all the other sentence serves the purpose to explain, extend, or support this general sentence. These other sentences are supporting details. The, they are used as pieces of evidence by writers to make the main idea of the paragraph convincing and interesting to the readers. Examples. In an analysis done by financial experts, legal beat all the other companies in the perception that it behaves ethically, conducts business fairly, operates transparently, protects the environment, and supports worthy causes. Lego has embraced corporate social responsibility from top to bottom, says Chief Reader Research Officer Stephen Hahn Griffiths. A paragraph also needs to have a concluding sentence, which has the main purpose, to give the reader a sense of having arrived to a satisfying ending of the topic discussed. For example, Legos build change and sustainable material centers initiatives and its partnership with the World, World Wildlife Fund are part of the Danish toy company's push for sustainability and corporate responsibility. Okay, so the exercise says Read and organize the paragraph below using the model above. One topic sentence, two supporting details, three concluding sentence. So we have to put uh, the number here, which which one is each, each one. <laughs> the first one says, their goal is to benefit their guests, employees, and businesses while making the company a desirable place to work through their consumer social responsibility efforts. Second, as the largest media entertainment conglomerate in the world and aside from its content, imaginary Disney has a tremendous responsibility to give back to those who have helped it become the powerful powerhouse that is today. Three, the Walt Disney Company is one of the largest and most well-known corporations practicing corporate social responsibility all the way down the line in their business model. The paragraph also needs to have a concluding sentence, which has one main purpose, to give the reader a sense of having arrived to a satisfying ending on the topic discussed. Go ahead, the last one, number three. Legos, while the chains and sustainable materials cost centers, initiatives, and it's a partnership with the World Wildlife Fund are part of the this business. Toy companies push out sustainability and cooperate social responsibility. Excellent. Now, we can organize the paragraph below using the model above. First, the topic sentence, then supporting details, and three concluding sentences. Yes. Because, it's, because of that is that the that the, the, the exercise in the platform teacher only have three numbers. Topic sentence is the first one, then the number two is all of the supporting details. Yeah, that's why, exactly. And the number mm -hmm. three is concluding sentence. Mm -hmm. That's why, exactly. Okay, what do you think, Francisco Doris? This is the, the topic sentence. It's the Walt, Walt Disney Company. It's a one yes, more. That one. Practice. Yeah. That uh -huh. one is the first one. The World yeah. Disney Company is one of the largest and most well-known corporation practicing corporate social responsibility. This is the number one, okay, great. Yeah. And uh, we need two, two of that, that is a supporting. Let me copy this to the, this so, one. Here. There are two supporters. Okay. There are two supporting centers. Yes. Okay, check for what are the, the two supporting centers. Mm -hmm. uh, the two supporters, there is uh, uh, their goals is to benefit the request. Yeah, this is one of them, yes. 
Uh, Voluntaries is a major focus for this thing. Yeah, this is the first one of the supporting is mm -hmm. the goal is to benefit their guests, employees, and business. Uh, the, while making the company a desirable place to work through the, the consumer social responsibility sports. And the other one is. Conclusion sentences. No, what was the second? The second supporting system. The goals. The goals and voluntaries. I said the first one. The second one. No. The World Disney Company is one of the. I, I think the one Disney Company is one uh, of What the, is the conclusion? Hasta the largest median. Yes, this is the conclusion. Okay. Yes. And this one, voluntaries, is. This is what the second, the second uh, supporting center. Yes. Okay. And then the conclusion center that is this one. Uh, as the largest media in entertainment conglomerate in the world, and aside from the constant imaginary, this thing has a tremendous responsibility to give back to those who have helped it become the powerhouse that it is today. Voluntary is my focus for the suffering to take us for a million people in exchange for the day of voluntary this from our organization. This includes several one million people in the United States to connect certain. Okay, I think that is correct. Okay, let's go to the platform. And what? If you have the same details. You know, yes, I was checking about this one, the platform. See, I can see that David and Doris, you already have section number one, two, and three with a hundred percent. Didn't yeah. see in the stress, right? Excellent. Francisco, mm -hmm. I don't know if you have issues with section number one because I can see that for section number one, you have 76%. Really? Yes, I don't know why. Yes. So if you if you want, you can go in with the help of your classmates. Puede, okay. eh, podemos apoyarnos con David and Doris so we can go and check mm -hmm. what's going on with section number one. Okay, okay guys. I'll check. So please. Hey, teacher, thank you. Okay, so please, David and Doris, help me out with Francisco. Ayudémonos para que tengamos oh. 100 en todas. Excellent. Okay. You're doing a great job, guys. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's go to the platform. Let me check. Okay, excellent. I was checking the platform. Veamos William, Lourdes, and Diego. In the case of William, you already have section number one and section number two, right? William, con 100%. Excellent. But you're still missing section number three, right? Yeah. Muy bien. And let me see Lourdes. Lourdes, section number one, 84%. Section number two, 100 and you're still missing some exercises from section number three, right? With 30, yes. 30, 30, yeah, 30, 36%. So please, guys, tomemos este tiempo ahorita so you can have section number one, two, and three with a hundred percent. Tratemos de apoyarnos, okay. veamos que hace falta. Si William puede apoyar a, a los ordes and, you know, and the other okay. way around as well. And Diego, I don't know if Diego is there. Diego, ayudémonos de los compañeros también, Diego. They can help you. Okay? I guess he's not there, right? Jaja, <laughs> 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 Diego. <laughs> he's not there. <laughs> Diego no tiene ninguna sección. Come on, Diego. Ayudémonos de los compañeros. <laughs> so, hagamos eso, chicos, ahorita. Tomemos ese tiempo. Okay? Okay. Keep on working. You're doing a great job. Okay. Hi guys, did you finish? Yes, it's okay. GT. Okay, so veamos cómo estamos en la plataforma. Section number one, two, and three. Oh, Hasta ahí yes, tenemos. Yes. Vamos a ver. Andrés Giovanni. 
Yes, tenemos las tres secciones con el 100%. Excellent, section number one, two, and three. Let me check on Erwin. Ah, oh, yeah, so, teacher. So, no, you know, eh, eh, apoyémonos con Andrés. Andrés, no sé si puede apoyarme ahí a Erwin con section okay. number one, two, and three. Okay, teacher. Erwin, if you want, eh, puede proyectar su plataforma, su pantalla, para que podamos pues, tener para este día ya finalizada section number one, two, and three. Okay? Tomemos today, el tiempo. Don't worry. Teacher, Just tell me. Teacher, today. Yes. yes, today. Today, teacher. Yeah, why not? Hemos estado trabajando todas estas semanas, sección por sección. Ahora finaliza la sección número tres. Don't forget Erwin. Lunes finalizamos y para viernes necesitamos tener las cuatro secciones. Ah, tomorrow. Come on, ahorita. No, not tomorrow, today, today. Proyecte su pantalla y apoyémonos con Andrés, ¿ok? Para que finalicemos todas las secciones. Ok, teacher, I will do it. You know, I prefer you to work on that right now. Mejor ahorita que en el día creo que es muy difícil, ¿verdad? Para enfocarnos en, en la plataforma. So don't worry. Para eso es la clase también. Okay? I, I remember when I started, when I started, at the last <laughs> moment I did the work. At the last I, moment. I promise, teacher, we say, tomorrow, teacher, that today, yes, this is the day. <laughs> at the <laughs> last time, when I, when I started at the college, I, uh -huh. I, I did the, the, the homework at the last moment. On the Monday night, buscando la cartulina el domingo en la noche, dicen, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, también a mí me pasa, believe me, me pasa, tengo tantas cosas que hacer, I know, but para eso es la clase, apoyémonos, let me see, Telma, Telma, me está entrando a la clase otra vez, si no, veamos, tengo también Erwin. Hagamos algo. Andrés en Erwin. Lo voy a enviar con, con el grupo que ahorita está completando la sección 3 para que se apoyen con otros compañeros. I can, I can do it in two hours in my office. I can do it. No problem. I will do it. I promise. I, I need the pass. <laughs> I need the pass. Yes. Okay. So? I need the pass. This is, this is, this is, this is one, one uh, how to say Bad culture for me. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you know how do we call this? ¿Cómo se llama eso? Culture bad. Culture bad. It's culture bad. Procrastination. Yes. Yeah? Can yes. you finish the idea? Procrastination. Yes. A procrastination, exactly. We leave those uh, uh, important, like, in this case, homework for the last time. But don't yeah. worry. Hagámoslo early. Okay. So, we if you promise for, that, uh, yeah. Yes. Do you study at the Central Senorita? I did, yeah, I studied there. Uh, after yeah. that, you study at the university. Yeah, I did, yeah. The Universidad Nacional. Exactly. Oh, you are so intelligent. Universidad del Salvador, yeah. I'm proud of being part of the, 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 the Universidad del Salvador. Is a, is a, for me, the best university. In some, in some, in yeah. some, in some back, manner, okay? back in those days, yes, but I don't know if it's still, um, I may have like the same opinion, right? Universidad de Salvador, but yeah, it's a very nice place to go and study with. And I even had a chance to teach there, también. Tuve la oportunidad de dar clases ahí. Yeah. Oh, Gracias, Erwin Lo. Aprecio Porque mucho. Estilo, why do you study idioms? Why, why? You, you know, no, I, I didn't want to, uh, to be a teacher. No, not really. I wanted to be a lawyer. But my sister, oh, she is a lawyer now. And I didn't have, like, to have the same profession. So that's why I'm a teacher. But I do like it. I enjoyed it. And do you like to study lawyer? I would really like to. Believe you can me, do it. You can do I it. Know, I know, I know, right? Yeah. But you are so young. <laughs> I'm still young, he says. Okay. You're so young. I, I am old. I'm 50 years old. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you are, you are young. You can do it. I if know. You study, I know. You study so easy. If you, want, if you have a dream, you can do it. I know. I know. Uh, if, si estudio la nacional de idiomas, 
puede estudiar cualquier cosa. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. But you know, as of right now, I'm working in some other projects, you know, personal projects. So that's why I think I don't have like that extra time because I have like my regular job. I'm also teaching at night and I have my my own business. Let's call it like this. Oh, okay. Perfect. And it's yeah, very okay. hard. That's why I do admire you. ¿Qué tipo de, de business? Yes. It's related to the teaching, teaching field. Tiene que ver con el teaching también, right? Like, um, because my job, what I do every day is to... Yo eh, superviso la creación de uh, cursos en línea. Yes, I remember. Right? I remember. So yes, I'm I trying remember. to do like similar stuff. I'm working with a team uh, of teachers, of course, and I'm supervising that job, you know? So we have already like been working on that project like for three or four years already. So yeah. Okay, excellent. Yeah, so I'm Is planning you... to be my own boss. Algún día, oh. anyway. <laughs> You can do it. It's so I easy. Know. You can do it. You can do it. Can do it. <laughs> okay. Thank you, you so much it. for that motivation. Believe okay. me, I do appreciate. Yeah. And I have learned a lot from you. Believe okay. me. You I can keep... do it. You can do it. You, you can, can do it. it. You, can, you, can this, but you can do it. Yeah, right. Exactly. So, that's right. Vamos a ver. So, let okay. me do this. Lo voy a enviar con el grupo, with a different group, so you can, like, Take a look at the activities that they are doing. I'm going to give you like 10 extra minutes. Let me send you with group number one. Lo voy a enviar al grupo number one, okay, chicos? Go ahead, please. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Did you guys finish? Terminaron yeah. ya. Yeah, but we had a doubt with, with uh -huh. exercise. Uh, for example, we have four options in four uh, possible answer. And yeah, because I guess uh, one of those is like uh, supporting details. Tenemos oh, okay. dos. We have two supporting details. That's why. But it, oh, okay. it is correct. Uh -huh. correct, then. Okay. Sí, porque normalmente cuando tenemos cuatro opciones decimos una tiene que pertenecer Ajá, one, a una, one, two, pero aquí sobra una. Ajá, es como una supporting detail. Veamos, Fernando. But which one? Um, but which one is even the fourth one? Because on the instructions we only have three: subject three, sentence, right? supporting mm -hmm. details, and concluding sentence. So number four, what is number four? <laughs> no, but uh, number four, yeah, right. Um, qué uh -huh. raro. So, but the first one is number four. <laughs> we just put it because it was <laughs> the correct one. So we don't have like the concluding sentence. We don't, we don't have a four option, but <laughs> there is, <laughs> and it is correct. So, so it is correct. Okay, <laughs> so. Esta plataforma, o sea, yo tengo, quiero ver, más de un año, cinco meses acá y esta plataforma, bueno, yo que soy desarrollador, no creo yo que sea tan difícil corregirlo, o sea, pero no, no, no han pedido. No, it's not. You know, yo también trabajo con plataformas, this is part of my job, chequear cursos en línea también me toca y it's not that difficult. Pero verdad ¿no? que este, este es un error, es un error de, de cuando formularon el, sí, el exacto. ejercicio. Uh -huh. Sí, uh -huh. es uh -huh. error humano. Correcto. <ríe> de, 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 exacto. Se corrige muy rápido. Pero es verdad, voy a enviar ese, ese error. Remember, creo que ya les mencioné esto, este curso tenía bastante de no darse. Igual, ah. por, ay, por eso es que nunca se corrigió o no se han detectado estos errores. Los avanzados, casi nadie llega avanzado. Eso les digo, nadie, casi nadie. Porque básicos, ay, tenemos ay. un montón de básicos, intermediates, pero avanzados, nada, se van, yo no sé, se asustan. Se van <ríe> so, veamos, la número cuatro tiene que ser tres, ¿verdad? O como, como sí, es creo que sí. ¿no? Yeah. Because sí, we don't have sí. number four. Ok, ahorita lo envío. <ríe> que trabajen ahorita en la noche. Ah, no, tenemos siempre, ¿saben? People from technical support. 
They are always ready to help. Eso me gusta bastante. But let me see. Uh, en yeah. el caso de Fernando. Section number one. Fernando le aparece 100. Section number two, the same. Y la section number three, why 80%? ¿Por qué 80, Fernando? What happened there? Uh, I don't know. No se ha actualizado tal vez mi cuadro. Quizás no, porque... All right. Déjame ver, déjame ver. Ahí bueno, está. aquí me aparece... Ah, no, es 80. No, yeah, Puede ser... Hay 80 de 100. ¿Qué me he comido? ¿Será alguna... No sé si alguna discusión contará o... No, no, really. Ah, no, he dejado esta, no sé por qué. <coughs> so, please go and review that. Y veamos... Es cierto. Con... Ahora es el último día para subirlo. No, section 1, 2, and 3. Tomen ese tiempo okay. para corregir eso. Génesis, en la section number 1, me parece 96%. Yeah, it's just that there was one that I I had wrong and I never asked. And it was so, the 1.9. Uh -huh. So please go ahead and check. You can compare. Okay, this. Ahí uh -huh. está. Y en la section number three me parece 60 todavía, 60% Genesis. I don't know. Uh, yeah. But I already, but I just finished it. Today, yes, right now. Yeah, yeah. Progreso. Because I have 100% right now. Oh, sí. Yeah. Solo me falta terminar la cuarta y el final. Ajá, la cuarta, we're going to be working on that one on Friday. Pero sí quiero que necesitamos antes del lunes tener esto listo, right? Sí. Okay. Pero vamos I bien. just vamos finished bien. it. So, so yeah. vamos a refrescar la página. Let me see. Oh, yeah, ahorita sí ya me parece. Excellent. Muy bien, chicos. Okay. But, yeah, it, it is in homework 1.9, the first one. Mm -hmm. I never no. knew. La verdad, este, la verdad que eso hoy que dice que no habíamos tenido estas, no habían avanzado. Este, esta parte de, de las preguntas de este curso han sido las más pequeñas que he visto yo desde que estoy acá. Mm -hmm. Exactly, es verdad. Ya tengo como 15 meses, o sea, entonces mm -hmm. eh, las demás han tenido como un poco más de trabajo. Yo sentía que estaban bien sencillas, quizás por eso mismo que no les han dado, que no han hecho cambios, no, no, no han hecho. No, and also if you go and check your student book, tienen hasta la misma. Yo, come on, eso no se hace. O sea, tienen el mismo en el student book y aquí, yo, bueno. Ah, That's sí, sí. Why, no, pero eso why. siempre ha pasado. O sea, los mismos ejercicios de, 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 del libro han estado aquí. Pero varias, like, varias veces ha pasado. We have like extra exercises, como basados en el mismo tema. Sí, tenemos like el mismo, pero extra. Pero ah, no, like... pero la verdad siempre han hecho eso. En todos los otros cursos que yo he hecho, siempre hay más de alguno de los que se hacen sí, en el que libro se repite, ajá. que se repiten. Están exactamente <risas> igual. Allá solo el orden cambia, por ejemplo. Ajá, el orden cambia. It's like that. Pero. Vamos a ver, so, Genesis, corrijamos eso. Tenemos cinco minutos y nos movemos a la última okay. actividad de ahora. Please. So, let me go okay, and visit thanks. the last group. Okay. Ready. Okay. Vamos a ver. Hello, guys. Guys, I was checking the platform. Let me see. Yeah. Vamos a mostrarles... ¿Cómo va su progreso en la platform? Section number one, section two, and section three. Let me see. Kenya. ¿Cómo estamos con Kenya? Eh, Kenya, section number one. It's, me aparece con 76%. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Faltará algún ejercicio? Section number two, 98%. Y la section number three, 100. Ahí sí estamos bien. Revisemos section one and two, please. Y en el caso de Freddy's, let me see. Excellent. Me aparece ya las cuatro secciones, Freddy's. Con el 100%. Excellent. Así que apoyémonos con Freddy's. Kenny, ahorita veamos qué nos hace falta en la section number one and two. Para que quede ya listo para ahora, ¿ok? Tomamos ese tiempo ahorita. Excelente. So keep on working. Veamos eso, Kenia, donde le hace falta. Voy. Ok, hi guys. Vamos hi, a ver el problema. ¿Cómo vamos en la plataforma? Let me see. Madeline. 
Section number one and section number two me aparece con 100%. Excellent. Y la section number three with an 80%. O ya se actualizó ese porcentaje. Completamos el section number three or not, Madeline? Yes. I, ok, vamos I, a reflejar. Vamos a ver si ya me aparece el 100. Harbin. Section number one, 60%. Section number two, 90. And section number three, 100. ¿Será que hace falta algo en sección 1 y 2, Harvey? Yes, in section 2, yes, uh -huh. in section 1, uh, already down, but mm -hmm. I don't know. So please go ahead and take a look. Probably we are still missing like an exercise. Apoyémonos con Madeline. ¿Qué, qué nos hará falta en la sección 1? Porque ella sí tiene el 100% en la okay. sección 1 y 2. Porfa, que queden ya esas tres secciones listas para ahora, ¿ok? Tomemos ese tiempo ahorita. Uh -huh. Can you check if yeah, I have the all the activities in number three? In number three, okay, yes, right now. Vamos a ver. Because I, I think that I think. Let me refresh this page. Madeline, sí, ya me aparece. Muy bien, Madeline. Me aparece siempre en las tres. Okay, thank you. Arvin, sí me aparece 80, 90, 100. Ah, pues sí, apoyémonos, Arvin, de, de Madeline para completar ahorita la section, please. Ok. Vaya, excelente. Hagamos eso ahorita. Mm. Which one, Arvin? Let me check because I... I remember that I forget... On, I miss only the, the exercise that I told you, but I don't know what happened. I, I'm going to check everything. Okay. Let me check. 1.1 is done. 1.3 is done. 1.5 is done. 1.7 is already done. Ah, uh, the section 1.9. I don't know what happened here. No, no. I remember that I did, but I don't know what happened here. Uh, A crazy 1.9. Yes. Ah, uh, the sentences that I say you? No. No. Other. Seven, yes. Ah, uh, okay. If you want, you can help me like we did in the in the previous exercise okay i will send you the chat you don't have any anything no i don't know why no I am copying and I have room. In which one? All of them. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's the same. I send you all. Hi, Telma. I don't know if you're, if you're still there. Telma.
No, teacher. No. Bye. In the case of Selma, I was checking the platform. Estamos muy bien, Selma. Tenemos todas las secciones completas con 100%. Excellent job. La felicito, Selma, por la puntualidad. Sí. Excellent. Sí, he completado. Yeah, all right. Ya estamos listos. Because your classmates, they are working on that right now, okay? Trying to finish some exercises that they are still missing. Así que estamos bien. I don't know if, um, Janari, are you still on a meeting? Yeah. Vamos a preguntarle a Janari. Mm, yo me quedé afuera porque, mm -hmm. pues, aunque yo opine, pues, como que no me escuchan, no sé qué pasa. Entonces, solo me quedé escuchando, no hay problema. Really? No, come on. Whenever sí, no, no hay problema, happens. ya me paso, ya me paso varias veces, pero no hay problema, yo solo lo que hago es que mejor escucho a mis compañeros nada más. Y termino el trabajo por mí misma y si está bien, pues really, but this happened. Lo comparo después, no, no hay problema, okay. no hay problema. Okay, don't worry, let, let me do something. No tell my cosa que este que podemos arreglar fácil, ¿ok? Sí, sí, miren, cómoda, pero igual, ¿verdad? No voy a Ok, estar let me do something. Wait. Uh, sí. Okay, time is over. Vamos a chequear cómo quedaron. Remember, in today's class, we, are, we need to have section number three. Over. Se acabó la sección tres, unit number three. Because we need to cover section number four, even though we are going to be discussing about the same topic in section number four, unit number four. Yeah, we need to have the exercises from uh, section number three ready for today. Eh, yes, estamos, creo que todos ya finalizamos. Let me see, I'm just missing. Erwin, que ya hizo, el, ah, ya avanzó bastante Erwin, estamos muy bien. En lo urdes, eh, section number one, it's, aparece con 84, no sé si. ¿Pasó algo con la sección 1? Lourdes. I will check it. Please, 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 please. And William, Janari, and Jocelyn están pendientes aún de la sección 3. So please, guys. The idea was for you to finish with section number 3 in today's class. Hagámoslo. El viernes, eh, we are going to be having like this extra time as well. For you to have a section number four and the final exam ready for Friday. Viernes tiene que quedar finalizado ya la plataforma. I do understand that some uh, days are very busy days because you have like extra activities to do during the day. So you don't have like enough time to go to the platform, check the exercises that we have there. But eh, that's why I'm giving you this extra time here during the class. Así que sepamos igual aprovechar. Eh, si nos hace falta cualquier ejercicio. And let me say congratulations. Hay algunos que sí, muy dedicados también en plataforma. Tenemos todas las secciones completas. Igual eh, felicitarles por ese esfuerzo. Bien, class. We still have 10 minutes. Let me show you. Eh, ¿Qué vamos a hacer? La introducción, the topic that we are going to have eh, tomorrow. Les muestro. Okay, here we go. Y 
if you go to your student's book, and as you may see, unit number three and unit number four, we have like uh, the same topic. Como les dije, una estrategia. So, eh, vamos a estar eh, implementing o haciendo como un proposal. Una propuesta de un CSR model. We are going to have some like extra information. We're going to have two rings for tomorrow. And after that, you're going to be working in groups. Haciendo esa estrategia. But let's have this one. Let's introduce the topic right now. Because I had an extra activity for today's class and as we still have like this extra time, we're gonna be covering that topic today. Students book, page number 30. Aquí la tenemos. Okay, we have different articles here. If you want to have like this extra reading, if you have uh, some free time, if you want to find like new vocabulary, or if you are interested in this type of uh, topic, and if you want to have uh, this extra information, you can go ahead and read the articles that we have here. Very interesting articles, right? And as you may see, we also had this topic, the practice. Uh, for the infinitives, gerunds and infinitives. So here you have like extra practice because in section number four in the platform, we have like some exercises as well about this topic. But the reading that we're going to be having in tomorrow's class is this one. It is called a five step social responsibility action plan. So let me ask you, what is an action plan? ¿Qué será eso? What is an action plan? What comes to your mind whenever I say action plan? What is that? Plan, plan de acción. Okay, I know, but that is in Spanish. ¿Qué, qué es un action plan? Give me a definition. Maybe a, a serial steps to oh, step. do in case of, for example. Action plan. Busquemos una definición, okay? Action plan. What is that about? Definition. What does it's like, action plan It's mean? like when you make uh, something that it's wrong or it's not um, like on the process outside of the book. Oh, Something there like we go. Interesting mm -hmm. example, Diego. There we go. That is like the main idea. Miren esta información. Easy, go and Google it. So what does action plan mean? ¿Qué es un action plan? Alguien que lo lea, please. So you can practice. What does action plan mean? ¿Qué es un action plan? An action plan is a document that lists what the step must be okay. taken in order to achieve a specific goal. Mm -hmm. The purposes of an action plan is to clarify what resources are required to reach the goal, formulate the timeline for when the specific tasks need to be completed, and determine what resources are required. So as you may see, uh, whenever we say CSR or Corporate Social Responsibility Program or Model, we need to have like the clear idea. ¿Cuál es mi meta para implementar este model, right? What is the goal, the specific goal that I want to achieve? So for that, we need to have an action plan, like this uh, list of steps or activities that we're gonna be developing, right? So this is going to be the last, uh, oh well, the, the first reading that we're going to have tomorrow. Five steps, vamos a crear un action plan, right? Because we have a lot of information. So, vamos a chequear ahorita la asistencia, the second time. Please, say here or present. Algunos ya no los veo conectados. As I mentioned before, necesitamos tener el 80%, at least the 80% in attendance. 
Andres Giovanni. Yes. I'm here, pero estoy cenando. Ok, don't worry, Freddy. Ok, gracias por el esfuerzo. Entiendo que eh, la hora de la cena es más tempranito, pero estamos en clase, don't worry. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portilla. Present. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present, teacher. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. I'm here. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Ok. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Muy bien. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present teacher. Bien. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. He's there, right? <laughs> Génesis de Carmen Hernández Villezuela. Present. Okay. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Muy bien. Jasmine Marisol Escobar Flores. Jasmine... She's not longer here. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ricks. Kenia? Ah, ok, she's there. Kenia. Muy bien, Kenia. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Ok. Selma Clotilde Peña Martín. Present. Muy bien, Selma. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Excellent. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. Here. Ok. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Ok, class. Questions, comments, preguntas, comentarios. Not really, teacher. Okay. If you don't have questions or comments, let's just stop the class here. You know, we are going to continue with a different topic tomorrow. And for Friday, we are going to have uh, section four exercises in the platform ready. Bien, chicos, vamos, ya actualicé y veo que sí, ya se actualizaron los datos. Solo, I don't know why, lo urde. Siempre me sigue apareciendo 88%. Uh, I checked and there are some answers that uh, uh -huh. I think that they are correct, but according to the platform, they are wrong. So if you want, you can state. Quedémonos dos minutitos para corregir eso. And I don't know okay. if Diego, Diego se puede quedar también un ratito conmigo. Okay, and the rest of you, okay. you can go. Okay, class, just quiero ver. We are just missing, nos queda un minuto. Quedémonos ese minuto para que cuente, okay? So, let me see. Voy a trabajar con Lourdes. Let me see your. No sé si puede compartir pantalla, Lourdes. Can you share your screen? Please. Vamos a ver. Yeah, right, see, aparece. Is that section number one? Yes. Uh -huh. But it, there was, um, no, I think it's the other. But that's all right. Lo urdes y en el ahí está, ahí está, ahí está, ahí está, ahí tenemos. Ok, let me help you. No sé. 1.7, ahorita, ahorita. Uh -huh. Bien, chicos. 10 en punto. If you want to stay, that's okay. For me, it's muy bien. Si no, aquí vamos a parar la clase para el resto. I really hope you to have a good night. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night.
1.7, número 2, ¿verdad? Dice, days just creating a team that ensures all the, the diversity issues are handled in the appropriate manner. Así es lo tiene. Sí. Are handled in the... Sí. Did you include the period at the end? I punto al final de la oración o no, not really. No, I cannot see that. No veo el punto, Lourdes. Tal vez eso nos hace falta. How about spelling? Ah, sí, ahí está. So, what's going on? Hagamos algo. I'm going to send you the correct one. Solo copiemos y peguemos, aquí vamos, porque sí está correcta. Go ahead, please, copy and paste. En Diego, Diego, no sé cómo estamos, corrigieron el problema, Diego, de la, um, de la contraseña. Hola, sí, justo ahora lo hicieron. Hey, really, eh... okay. Ustedes que del trabajo habían mandado mal mi correo, por eso es que nunca pude accesar. Entonces, oh, cada vez que, daba, eh, que enviaran la contraseña y todo eso, le enviaban un correo inexistente. Okay. Entonces, pues mañana me pondría al día con la plataforma, en realidad, trataría de. Ok. Perfecto. Uh -huh. para, o sea, mañana y, y viernes. Mañana para... y viernes. Ajá. Vaya, Exacto. para que no nos afecte y que el viernes ya tengamos hasta la sección número 4. Cualquier cosa, Diego, en serio. Nos podemos quedar o, o vemos cómo completamos las secciones uh -huh. para que no haya problema. ¿Okay? No, tranqui, tranqui. Eh, igual, <risa> lo, lo verde es mi compañera, entonces. Da, ahí la voy a hacer ah, ah, Ahí estuvo ya la verde. <risa> ah, <risa> ah, pues sí, que, si que lo verde corrija esto, que lo verde corrija esto para que me quede bien a mi idea. Ah, ah pues lo verde. Hay testigos, hay testigos que no fui yo, sino que mi correo estaba malo. Qué de evidencia, sí, ahorita en, en video sí, grabado. Sí. No, pero vamos a ver. Lo urdo, ya envié las cinco. Igual, hagamos lo mismo. Copy and paste. Sí. Qué de evidencia. <risa> Come on, Diego. No, no pues chicos, sí. es la idea. Es la idea para que, pues sí, tengamos ese certificado al final. Ahí está. Bien, great job. No sé cuál más nos afecta. Voy a ahorita a revisar. Vamos a ver qué tal apareció. Sí. Let me see. Había esta otra de las parentheticals que no sé ah, si la... Uno punto la nueve, ahorita. Right now. Vamos a ver. Uno punto nueve. La uno, number one. Uh -huh. Sí. Vaya, ahorita. Ok, there we go. Esa le pongo el puntito. No, así como le envié. Just okay. like that. Mm. Ahí está muy bien. Uh -huh. okay. Eso era todo entonces. Sí, eso porque solo la sección 1 me aparecía con, con 86%. Sí, So, creo que la sección 2 también había, ¿no? ¿Verdad? Veamos el progreso. Sí, ahora sí. Perdón, entonces eh, yo me retiro. Mañana voy a empezar todo esto. Oigan. Mañana le escribo algo. Ah, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> no, don't Gracias, worry. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Good night. Okay. okay. Gracias, teacher. Ok, entonces ahí estamos. Lo urdes cualquier cosa que estamos para ayudar. Ok, muchas gracias. Ok, so that's it. Have a Bye. good night. Uh -huh.